market is busy with last chance tourists. They say Sabah's last surviving reef will turn white and die this year. That's why all the tourists are here braving the heat and the plague of dengue fever. That's their last chance in the world to see a live coral reef. The main causes of extinction of coral reefs are warming waters and ocean acidification. This is the result of human-caused climate change. Hey you, you can eat that. Clams? Yes, lakan panggang. But they were selling it. They shouldn't have. The algal bloom, it feeds on river water carrying fertilizer from the plantation. Oh, uh, really? The tourists just left without saying thank you and ignoring what Maslina had already said. Suddenly, a woman clad hat to two in protective clothing and using to do comes to Maslina. I saw what you just did. It was thoughtful of you. I couldn't just let her die. Ah, oh, people that stupid shouldn't breed Darwin. Evolution. Yeah, evolution. How did you learn that? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. That was really presumptuous. No, you guessed right. I go to NGO Learning Center. NGO? Oh, Joe. Do you eat society one? The students are palm worker children, sama and refugees. Some come for the agar-agar brought we get after lessons, but I go to learn languages. I know Bahasa, English, Filipino, and a little Indonesian. You looking to go to university? Oh, no. I will make a makeup for university. I want to become a tour guide. I could make a better living showing tourists the islands than weaving by loy. Oh, I see. Oh, this met with black and cobalt hourglasses shot through with randomized stitches of neon blue. This one is very beautiful like a night sky. But as a pity, I can buy one. I'll tell you, I could show you around the orangutan sanctuary, then you might understand. Maslina's trying to look calm. She thinks if the woman is an informer sent to catch her, one of the reef guardians, the angel sat amongst the island people to inform them of illegal poaching. Are you okay? Uh, uh, are you going to turn me in? Huh? No! I just think that you should be left alone. Maslina realizes belatedly that her orangutan is bounded by Angel Logos, Hutani Wilderness Asia World Land Foundation. The woman with the orangutan shirt is still talking when Maslina flees. Maslina took the long way to go home, hidden in a plantation to the north of the city. All around her, palm trees standing brown and withered, their protruding fruit that is small or mummified. The fallen flower beds are evidence of the drought and heat they have to endure. People who are 12 years of age and over should always carry their mycat with them. Trading without mycat is illegal. Without mycat, Masina is an illegal citizen and so is her store. It's not that she don't want to make mycat, but her sibling and her don't have money to make mycat. I will arrive at home soon and waiting Tadi to discuss this. Furthermore, Maslina and Tadi finally met. We have raids at the market tonight. I lost all my balloon. Really? Oh, Maslina, I'm sorry. Everything is going my cut only. I even saw Indonesian rubbers, workers, and children from my school's cave engine tonight. Apparently, they are all being replaced by peninsular Malaysians. There are thousands of people on the move, Maslina. Everyone after meeting work. They favor Malaysian citizens because they are the only ones who can food. If people without my cuts can't in the factories and plantation anymore, where else we can get money besides those rich last chance tourists? They don't see it that way, and to answer your question, we can get money from the seaweed farms. We are water people, Maslina. Seaweed is something we are good at that can be replaced by peninsular land folk. But it's the same thing every day, the same water, the same horizon, the same skill over and over. So, 
So, it's risky. Risky? In science, we've been studying something called evolution. Animals that only adapt to one way of living are at risk of dying out if things change too much. I think that goes for people too, that. And you think going to language classes and learning science is going to be that life-saving adaptation? Mm, maybe. Not without a mic, you won't. It doesn't matter what skills you develop, Maslina. Without that car, you can work. After the conversation, Maslina and Tadi are woken in the night by the matter of beauty so outbursts as scanning the river. They cut out as they reach the stilt house community, their rumble replaced by angry voice. Is that the other seaweed harvesters returning home? They're back late. Something must have happened. Maslina and Tadi climb the stilts to our house platform. What's going on? Has there been trouble? A useful porter came to the seaweed farm today, checking for my cart. They told the owner that if he ever hires undocumented labor again, he will be arrested for harboring. They tell our boss to spread the word to all the other farmers. No one is going to hire us anymore. Who are we going to leave? What are we going to do, Tadi? We are going to feed an agriculture farm, Miss Lina. Oh, no, Tadi. You know, they don't always arrest cake poachers. I know. Say a dua for me, Miss Lina. Did we all return safely? Miss Lina is very worried about Tadi. She thinks if Tadi dies, she can't help him, but if Tadi and the others taken alive, she will need bribes. Maslina decided to visit the orang utan because she thought of a new woman from the market. Hey, you came! Aren't they amazing? Who pays for all this? Americans, people overseas. They like orang utans. Oh, I nearly forgot. Wait here. I took your mats and sold them for you. The people here think you are very talented. We could have sold them 20 times over. If you make any more, we'd be happy to be your sales outlet. How much is here? 3,000 ringgit. Maslina is very happy because Tadi is alive and 3,000 ringgit is more than enough for vibes and to my cats. Maslina's people will be allowed to work to go to school. Maslina's people will have a market for their ballet. Things are looking up. She cannot wait to plan the itinerary of all the places they will go.